So this has probably been the most requested video for me to do ever since I did my original game video about over a year ago, and since it is the holidays and I'm feeling in the Christmas spirit, I thought I'd go ahead and give this to you guys on Christmas Day. And with that being said, let's just go ahead and roll right into this video. So first off, we're gonna have to talk about how Gain would actually go about surviving because he was left for dead after Aizen cut him across his body and yeeted one of his arms off. And there's three people I could see bringing Gain back from the dead or if they find him before he like actually quote unquote dies. The first person would be Unohana as she was able to heal Hiyori after getting cut in half by Gain and basically told Shinji, I've healed her just fine. If Hiyori has the will to live, she'll continue living. So she has pretty good healing capabilities, and that's even fodder compared to Unahana healing Kenpachi and reviving him numerous times after she was repeatedly killing him in their battle. So she's able to bring people back from either like a near death state or actually back from the dead. But even better than that, we have Orihime, who not only healed Melanie, who was literally just a pair of legs after Grimjaw had vaporized the top half of her body, but she was able to bring Grimjaw's arm back after it was erased from existence by Kaname. Now, I do know that the novels say that she has to get to the body um, fairly quickly so she can revive them, but she got to Grimjow like two days after his arm was erased, so I don't see why she wouldn't be able to heal Gein, especially since she gets there pretty shortly after everything happens. Like, she's there with Ichigo, like, so she could just kind of go back to where Gein is and heal him real quick if that's really a problem. And the third person could really be split into two people it's basically just zombification you know i was like well this is technically something that could work you know we know mayuri was working on zombies um after he went into Silopero's lab so we know that he could turn gain into a zombie or say that yuha's like hmm somebody left this perfectly good shinigami corpse here giselle turn him into a zombie and i mean that is a like possibility but i don't think it's as likely now as for what would actually happen to gain he would more than likely go to jail see it's seems like the punishment for treason in the soul society is execution seeing as they tried to execute aizen for treason meaning that's their punishment for somebody you know committing treason but dean can actually make a solid case for himself here as he only committed treason because of how big of a threat aizen was and he wanted to make sure that like if everything else failed he was going to be someone that could take aizen out and he never directly attacks anybody from the soul society you know Toshiro attacks him in the Soul Society arc, and Gein only acts in self-defense, right? Um, he attacks Hiyori, but Hiyori is a member of the Visards, and Shinji makes it very clear that the Visards are not the friends of the Soul Society, they're literally only here to kill Aizen. Then he fights Ichigo, who is a bit dicey, because Ichigo is a substitute Shinigami, but he is still independent of the Soul Society, he does his own thing. They told him not to go to Hueco Mundo, and he was literally just like, well, I'm gonna do whatever I want, and, I mean, the Soul Society clearly does value Ichigo, they sent four of their best characters happens to go assist him in Hueco Mundo, but I mean, Gein could just make the argument that if he wanted Ichigo dead, he could have killed him as Gein was so much stronger than Ichigo was, and he could be like, well, I was just testing him to see if he was strong enough to take on Aizen. And then finally, there's him kind of like attacking Rangiku after he and Aizen leave you know but he could just say that he was trying to keep rangiku out of the battle between him and aizen he's like well i don't want her intervening and getting hurt so i kind of just knocked her out so she wouldn't intervene so with that and then possibly the testimonies of like say rangiku and izuru and maybe they can get some captains to help them out i'm pretty sure they can you know prevent him from being executed because gein is also going to be a valuable asset to the soul society you know he's this very powerful captain and it's like look we can just throw him in jail because he did commit treason but but let's not execute him and waste all this good potential that we have. Now, Gein being in jail is actually very good for him because that means he does not partake in the first invasion at all, meaning he can't get his Bonkai stolen and he doesn't accidentally run into a really powerful Stern Ritter and get himself killed, which I guess is a good time to segue into talking about how strong Gein would be and he has some really good scaling 
he does scale above Ichigo post Ukiyora, but I know people are going to try to bring up him fighting Aizen and him, you know, blowing up third fusion Aizen, but the problem is is that he catches Aizen off guard, and when you catch somebody off guard in Bleach, you're able to damage characters that are much more powerful than you because their guard is not up. And some good examples of this are Shinji and Shunsui being able to harm Aizen despite Aizen being so much stronger than they are, or even a more blatant example is Shuhei and Kaname. As Shuhei was getting absolutely demolished by Kaname, Kaname then goes into his Resurrection, which makes him even more powerful, and then Shuhei catches him off guard and is able to one-shot him. So when you catch people off guard in Bleach, it's evident that you're able to damage people much stronger than yourself, which is why we're not going to be using that as like an actual scaling thing for Gein. However, he's still really powerful scaling off of Ichigo, seeing as Ichigo with his mask was still able to slam Yami down and was able to still cut through his Hiero. Even if it was just a Nick, Yami does have the second most powerful Hiero of all of the Espada and is the most physically powerful Espada. He tells Ichigo, I'm the strongest Espada. I'm stronger than Noi, Tora, Grimjo, Ukiyora. And Ichigo is just like, you know, I don't care if you're stronger than they are, which is him inadvertently confirming that he is that powerful and so that Ichigo was also very fatigued you know he only had half of his Bankai wasn't even able to control his mask properly so you could make the argument that he might actually be more relative to Yami um if he were at you know his quote-unquote full power and then Gin just flat out scales above that Ichigo so Gin should be hovering somewhere around Yami if not higher which is very good scaling for the final arc now this would put Gin somewhere in the mid tier for the Sternritter as he would scale above the Sternritter that can beat characters that scale to a certain Espada member, right? As Gein scales to Yami, who is stronger than all the other Espada members. And so if you have someone like Shunsui, who's relativistic to Stark, and then he's now losing to Robert, you know, you have Robert being somewhat above this Stark Shunsui, right? But we can't definitely say that he's as strong as Yami, you know, he'd just be somewhere in the middle. And so Gein would just be above that guy. So he's above those Sternritter that have like some connection to one of the Espada, like they just have some scaling directly to one of them, because no matter who they scale to, they would be weaker than Gain as he scales to Yami, who's stronger than all the other ones, if that makes sense. But he would get demolished by the top tier Stern Ridders, seeing as we have characters like Byakia and Kempachi, who straight up killed Yami, so they have a much better showing than Gain does, and then they get like obliterated by Roid or Asnot. You know, and as not stole Byakia's Bankai, and you have to be relative to that person to contain their Bankai. Or Roy just, we don't see what happens, but we just see that Kenpachi got straight up manhandled by Roy. So any of the top tier or stronger Stern Ritter would obliterate Gein. So he's hovering somewhere in like the mid tier, right? And so basically all Gein would do is after the first invasion, they would come to him and be like, hey buddy, we kind of got just obliterated in that first invasion. You want to come help us out? And he would help deal with the low to mid tier stern ridders and maybe help somebody else out fighting a stronger stern ridder maybe catch them off guard and snipe them with his bonkai but other than that i don't think his presence would really change all that much unless gein were to train we know that shinigami can train just by meditating with their zon pakto and you know let's say that everybody recognizes that gein is pretty much innocent he's just in jail to basically serve a sentence for his crime right you know he's kind of just in jail for show let's say they give him his zon pakto they're like look Buddy, when you get out of here, you're going to be a great asset for the Soul Society, so we want you to train and, you know, maintain your strength, and there's really only one way I could see, you know, Gein training, and that's basically the Renji myth, where he's like, I'm going to train to beat Aizen, because when I get out, I want to make sure that someone is able to kill this dude, and it also makes sense because Aizen was the dude that killed him, and you'd probably want to be like, hmm, that dude killed me, I should probably train to be at least as strong as him, so I could see Gein training in you know one of three ways he could go to being base aizen third fusion aizen or training to be as strong as fourth fusion aizen which all of those are quite ridiculous and we let's just go ahead and talk about how much of a swath he would cut through the stern ritter if he was as strong as these different forms of aizen now if he only trained to be as strong as base aizen he would immediately
immediately jump to being like a high tier threat seeing as Yamamoto was able to annihilate the dude that stole Chojiro's Bankai and he annihilated three Sternwitter that tried to intervene with his battle against well the fake Yuha you know you know quote unquote Yuha and he just you know swung his sword and obliterated all three of them and the only reason they were alive is because Basby cancelled out their flames so he, this would be a tremendous amp for Gein you know he'd be able to just fight a lot of these stern riddles just based on his own raw strength right but even then there would be some stern riddles that would be able to give him trouble again you know we did just see that Basby was able to cancel out Yamamoto's flames so it's not like he can just get a free win off of any you know Sternwitter just because he's relative to Yamamoto in strength now which is where third fusion Eisen would come in which is kind of hard to place because we just know that third fusion Eisen is stronger than second fusion which beat Kisuke Ishin and Yoroichi and at that point none of them really have any good feats like their best showing is fighting second fusion Eisen and the only character that's there that you can argue that doesn't train is Kisuke and I mean I guess if Kisuke is as strong as he was when he fought um, Askin, you might be able to make some argument, but even then, Kisuke didn't really fight Askin at all in base. He kind of was like, hey man, I'm a little dangerous, you're a little dangerous. Askin went into his vault standing, scared Kisuke into going Bankai, and then Kisuke just whipped him a lot with his Bankai and won, you know? Um, gross, over <laughs> gross oversimplification, but yeah, I don't think that would really help uh, uh, gain out at all scaling the third fusion Eisen because we can't really pin down how strong he is it's just very vague but fourth fusion Eisen is um a lot better uh he transcends every Shinigami you know at that current point which would include characters like Yamamoto which you know at that point being just transcendent of Yamamoto and training to have that level of strength um would make Gein a very top tier threat in in the final arc it would you know he wouldn't be quite as strong as base ichigo because you know base ichigo in the final arc is hovering around his don guy mugetsu self and fourth fusion aizen is not anywhere near that powerful but it should definitely allow him to beat all of the like the top tier stern reader you know like someone like basby was able to cancel out yamamoto's flames but now gein is transcendent of yamamoto and if he can only if he's like canceling out the flames and is still getting a little scuffed and then you know gein is now transcendent of that right he should be able to beat these top top tier Sternritter and you know I, I don't know if we can say he would be the Shootstoffel maybe that's a topic for another video No, we can talk about uh, Aizen versus the Shootstoffel or something but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I actually did a lot more than I thought I was going to do in this video I've never done a what if before so this was definitely really interesting to do um I hope you guys enjoy this for your little Christmas present I hope to make more content for you guys I'm gonna try to start streaming some more as well because I miss doing that let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below definitely let me know um especially for this because i i haven't done a what if video before i can't stress that enough so like i want to know like what i could improve or what you guys might like to see um leave a like if you enjoyed it leave a dislike if you didn't like it criticism is always good join the discord it is linked in the description you know if there was something that i said about power scaling that you didn't necessarily like then we can debate on it or if you just kind of want to talk about um you know maybe more on this topic that i didn't go into in this video with love to talk about that with you guys but with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here you guys have yourselves a nice day and have a happy holidays oh,